of the conversation about all kinds of stuff. Uh, sir, it's time for lightning round. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Are you capable of giving quick answers? No. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. We're in the competition for the Democratic nomination. Um, what do you say to Democratic voters that you're not progressive enough? Look, that, that, you're, that, that incremental change is not what we need right now, and that Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren, who are calling for broader systemic change, are what we re need right now? Look at my record. Everything I've done is really significant, and I, I, I'd be happy to talk about the details. Medicare for all. We don't have... Are you in 30, favor of Medicare for no, all? No, $30 trillion. I'm in favor of taking Obamacare, restoring it, adding a public option, making sure that everybody has access to it. Do you think and... the Republicans will play along with you for that? No. I don't... Because the Republicans will not do anything with you, you realize. No, that, but that's not true. But on this it is. And what's happened is you, where, where they disagree with you, you've got to go out and beat them, like we did in 2018 on the very issue of health care. Well, why would they be nicer to you than they were to Barack Obama? Oh, he was a nice guy. Well, by the way, no, he, he, he was a nice guy, but I got a lot of things done. Mm -hmm. You know, the Recovery Act, which was uh, almost $90 billion that kept us out of a depression. But not I one changed Republican straight. in Congress voted for it. Oh, no, 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 no. I got three Republicans three changed senators, not, senators. Not, no, no one in the House of Representatives. But, but, but they're Republicans, and I got it passed. They changed their vote, and I got it passed. All right. All right. It doesn't mean that that will happen again. You have stressed your electability. After Trump was elected, does electability mean anything anymore? Well, and I mean that semi-seriously. No, 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 Where no, are the standards? I, I, the standard is, look, I've been around a long time. The good and the bad news is all these people think they know me. They know a lot about me. They know the things that are real about me. They know the things that aren't real. And they're not... So it's a lot harder for people to go out and make a case that I'm this or that when people know me. I've been around for all these years. And a lot of me they don't like. Some of it they do like. And so the electability relates to whether or not they think I'm straightforward, whether I'm, whether I'm, I'm honest with them, whether I'm going into a position where I do what I say I'm going to do. I say what I'm going to do and I do it. And, uh, and so that's, that's all I, I can say. You said... And I know I'm getting the rap over here, but I'm going to blow a little bit. You said your campaign is not a continuation of Barack Obama's administration. What would you differ uh, with him on? Like, uh, look back uh, to four years ago. What did you guys shank? What, what, should, what should you have done differently? No, it's not... Look, he pulled us out of a god-awful recession, kept us from going into depression. Mm -hmm. Everything landed in his desk but locusts, and he got an awful lot done. And the biggest thing was not one single solitary piece of... of Illegitimate action took place in the United States presidency. Not one. No indictments. No. But okay. But the world's changed. We need health care for all. We tried to get it done. We couldn't. Now people have figured out. Guess what? We agree. We need health care for everybody. Um, have you called him for advice? I've called. I, I, I talked to Barack, and I. Uh, when was the last time you talked to him? I, I guess now it's about uh, three, four weeks ago. Okay. Would you appoint him to the Supreme Court? Hell. Yes. I don't think you'd do it, but I... He was a constitutional but, professor at the University no, of Chicago. No, no, I, I understand. He's fully qualified. Have fully you, qualified. Have you asked Michelle Obama for advice? Only to be my vice president. I've been asking... Uh, I'm only joking. Michelle, I'm joking. Uh -huh. That was a joke. She said, she said famously, when they go low, we go high. Yes. You said, I'd like to take that guy behind the... The high school gym and beat the hell out of them. Well, let's put which, it in context. Which one is it going to be, Look, sir? Let's put it in context. I was asked, don't you wish you were debating Barack Obama? I mean, excuse me, not after, after the Obama administration. Don't you wish you were debating Trump now? After, and I said, if he said what he said about women in front of my sister in high school, I would take him behind the gym. And I shouldn't have even said that. All right. But it was about high school. Mm-hmm. Now... Sir, thank you so much for being here. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I think we got to go. Unfortunately, will you please come back? I will. Um, a uh, the debate uh, we're covering live next Thursday. We're going to have a show afterwards. Uh, you're going to be on stage with Elizabeth Warren for the first time. Yes. 
Uh, give me a preview. We're going to have the old Jack Johnsons out. What's going oh, to no. go? <laughs> she... Going to be rough and tumble? Because it's going to be broad systematic change and uh, what people say is incrementalism. They're there, looking there for a fight, There is sir. no incrementalism what I'm proposing. Really? What's, what's, the, what's the boldest thing you would change? The boldest thing I would change is the way we deal with climate change. I would invest right now $400 billion in what we're doing. I would change the way in which we invest. Look, think about this. If we took the money that were available to us and we invested it in, a, in, in health care in a way to find cures, I've forgotten more about the cancer fight than most people know. We could, in fact, be curing major pieces of cancer. We could be taking on Alzheimer's. We should, there's so much we can do that is bold, very bold, that I'm the only one proposing. Well, sir, thank you so much for Good. being here. Thanks. See you next Thursday. Vice President Joe Biden.